Okay, it's a beautiful Saturday morning. And we've got quite the mess over here. I've got to get through all this and get this stuff organized and kind of stowed away. That's kind of Owen and Mike are going to work on stuff like that today. And uh, Bud and Sadie and I are going to head to the office. We've got a ton of billing to do. So we're... Uh, we just can't keep up with it but we're at the end of the road here so it's definitely uh it's been one heck of a season for all of us everyone everyone in the snow business everyone in mammoth uh they know what it took to get this year done and you know mistakes were made uh but many victories were also made uh, our guys had tenacity heart they pushed through i don't think a lot of people could have made it actually a lot of a lot of people that did work for us they fell off they just couldn't handle it uh, only the strong basically survived it was one heck of a year and everybody that made it through to the end that goes for all the all the contractors in Mammoth and just everyone involved. Everybody that made it through this season has something to be proud of. I don't care if you've been doing it for your whole life. This year was, this was one for the books. And it just put everybody under a lot of, a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. And now it's starting to warm up. And we're looking forward to summertime, having some good times in the summer. And I'll tell you, it was a tough year. Everybody knows it. So on to the, on to the summertime fun. And who knows what's around the corner, but, uh, we're going to stay ready for it. And, uh, we're gonna do our best pushing forward to do the best job we can for everyone. And um, just keep this thing going. I think uh, once we get this truck pulled out, they could probably move it down to the parking lot at Sherwin for, uh, for a bit. And then maybe we can take the loader and just kind of square all this up and push everything to the back. And we might have to get the other loader over here. Um, but just kind of let's create as much room as we can in here. And then I'd like to try to get this stuff out from in front of these trucks. And we got to figure out something with these door handles on this one. I'm not sure what we're going to do there yet. But uh, if we can get the door open, maybe we can get uh, the door panel off on the inside. And then uh, temporarily we can figure out how we'll uh, open and close the door. But uh, main thing is, since the handles are broke off, we need to figure out how to get that thing open. Uh, like to get this truck cleaned out, the back of this truck cleaned out. And then this stuff here, um, for now, I think we need to, you know, I don't know if we use the Mini X or what, but uh, whatever we need to do, we need to get this back around back so if we can you know get all get this place just kind of spiffed up um get it looking more presentable and we can actually make some more room over here we can bring our uh bring the blowers and all the equipment that's at the house kind of tuck it in over here somewhere and then uh, i want to get these these posts that we got into i'd like to grab them and stack them somewhere um so when everything melts we can put those back where we go where they go so let's uh let's work on that today and uh it's a really nice day it's it's chilly but there's no breeze so that makes things nice definitely kind of odd i'm gonna show uh you guys something here in a minute off to the east the color of the sky is just it's it's really odd to me I don't know. It's uh, it's got like an orange hue to it. So you can see over here. You know, it's fairly blue and 
clear and uh, it's really calm today. There's no wind. But when I turn over towards the direction where the sun's at, I mean, look at this. Look at that color. That is just odd. It's been like that the last couple days. I've never really noticed that before. Being that color, maybe somebody could explain to me the phenomenon behind that. Because maybe it's like a... Typically when it's this cold and it's clear out with no clouds, you know, everything's going to look crystal clear. But for some reason over here... Basically kind of right under where the sun's at. It's just like this. It almost looks like smog. And I, I just... It's like a layer of something. Clouds or fog or... But I mean, at this... These temps, there is no fog. So, it's kind of... It kind of looks yucky. But, uh... Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, maybe somebody knows. It's this time of year, maybe it's something, uh something normal i don't know all right looks like we're about ready to get this thing out And these other trucks as well. We're squaring this thing up, making some room. Starting to get some room back here finally. Got the toe straps hooked up. Gonna give her a little pull and see what she does. Here we are at the Sherwins. A lot of grooming going on here. The boss, the boss man getting in some work. Getting all this duck out to get this truck out of here. Got Mike right there digging out the tires. Always a fun day working for our life. Always. Beautiful day. Clear sky, pretty warm. It don't get better than this. Right there is probably good. A little bit more. Okay. All right, so you could probably just turn to the right slightly, let him get his wheels turned a little bit, and just real easy. Parking brake's not set. this way. A little more. It's a lot of pressure on that. Turn your wheels more if you 
can. You're in reverse. Just about got it out. It's got to get a little bit more material under here. So he's going to raise the bed up and he's going to start digging underneath. And uh, it's, it's moving, but just got to get a little bit more snow out. See if he can get his wheels turned to the right. This way. Mike, turn your wheels to the right. Yeah, more. Yeah. Uh-oh, that wasn't good. Got it. Got her out. All right. Well, we're definitely happy to see this day. Finally got this sucker out. Now I just gotta get the four months worth of snow that basically melted and turned to ice and the bottom of it dumped out. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep cleaning up this area and we're gonna bring it back and uh, tilt the bed. We're gonna try to, well, first we're gonna try and get some of it out with the loader, but then we're gonna tilt the bed and let the sun do the rest. <clears throat> there she is. Now, Mike's still learning how to run the gears on it. It's his first time driving this one. <laughs> Look at all that snow. She had some snow on her, that's for sure. We're gonna get it out here in the sun and uh, let it melt off. <clears throat> This is Snow Creek right here. This guy's trying to get this foundation cleaned up. It's about six feet deep, seven. It's quite a bit of snow. For sure, it's harder than all of these guys. This guy's working hard. All day, every day. You can just see that shower right there peeking at one of the guys. Really deep. Oh yeah, look at that. That's what happens when you're young. Clearing all this snow off. Try to get a good 15 feet. Hard, frozen snow. Cutting some leaks inside the house. We're removing all this right here. All this. To avoid the water going inside of the house. Almost there. Owen got all this cleared out. It's looking good. And then we're gonna proceed over here make our tunnel all the way till we see the creek like 16 feet that way so we got going on over here for these guys we're here in the next address the guys are making their way down to get this meter undug it's somewhere right in there so they're digging their way up down 
Getting it on Doug. It's underneath right, right there. They found it, now it's, now it's down to digging. Digging the meter out, that's like a good six feet down. Getting it uncovered, well got it uncovered. We're just doing a little rough cleaning. And moving on to the next. Getting this opened up right here. Oh, and getting some load started. Then so we can get started on this right here as well. It's making its way, quite a bit of snow. Making it look nice. Hoping to keep this client happy. Owen in the machine doing what he knows how to do best. We're gonna pull this tire off right here and take a look at the rim on the inside. It's got a, uh, I can't even imagine how that could have happened, but it's got a, a crease in it. You won't be able to see it till we get it off, but uh, Owen's gonna take it off right now. You got an extension for that? Step right here? No, this part keeps bending because oh, you yeah. get too much weight in there. It's it's for light material. Anyways, so here it is. Don't really know exactly how that even could have happened without damaging the tire, but somehow it did. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna get a hammer and uh, straighten it back out. Definitely interesting. That was on the inside of the wheel and you know there's absolutely no damage to the tire so it's really hard to say what could have done that but i mean odd things happen up here that's for sure these poor machines have taken a beating this year these things were brand new right off the showroom floor last year and this year uh they definitely got broken in so now I got this trailer flipped over because it was buried under all this snow. And of course, this was the one that Owen went to Tahoe and picked up after the other trailer got broken because of the snow. And then <clears throat> this one here, the axle, literally just the snow just sheared it right off the weight just from having all the weight. So hopefully what we're going to do here is unbolt this one and then if the stars align, this other trailer over here that got destroyed will hopefully still have a good axle under it at least. But we're really not going to know until we dig it out. So I'm waiting for them to get back right now and then we're going to scoop out all this snow with the bucket after we get that rim fixed and we're gonna find out if we have a good axle hopefully we do and uh if that's the case then we'll 
and then obviously the plywood's done on this trailer too so we'll have to we're gonna literally have to uh replace the plywood we'll put a new axle on it and then we should have a good trailer after that so i think you're gonna beat her back into submission yeah i'm just trying to uh, see if i want to get something, something to hit on it with yeah. You know what we need? Let's get our let's start getting our uh, for the trash run, and then uh, when you're down there, I want you to grab about a couple big bags of kitty litter. We're gonna try to put it here and let it soak, soak it up. Did uh, Brian end up getting? Maybe yeah. I think you're supposed to do that. <laughs> no, probably not, but it's gonna be. That right there is gonna work better than hitting it, I think. Yeah, you're getting it. May never get it back 100%, but at least if it's not leaking. Looks pretty good, though. So it's got a little flat spot in it, but maybe a little bit more. It'll probably go then. So pretty straight gonna take a walk over here see how Brian's doing oh I can see some progress so told him we need to get this garage exposed and uh, we got to ramp all the way to the back of these this building here so he's been over here Maybe a couple hours messing around with it. And we got to get everything ready for next week because we're going to be moving in here. So we're, we're starting to open things up so we can have room for equipment. Oh, yeah. He's doing, he's doing good. That's what I wanted to see. That's what I'm talking about. Where are you barking at? Huh? What are you barking at, bud? Come on, get down. Scared, aren't you? There you are. Come on. Get her. Go get her. Get her. Oh, 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 oh. He made it. <laughs> So uh, Brian brought the loader over. He's going to pick that thing up and flip it over so we can see if the axles are ruined on that too. All right. Take, go ahead and take this and park it down on the ramp where you just made. Okay. We'll just leave it there for tonight.
said the axle looks good, huh? I got forks. I got my forks on the skid steer. He got this dug out. I'm gonna get under here with the forks and I'm gonna lift it on out of here and uh, get it over here flipped upside down. So we could hopefully just swap axles. Might even be a pretty quick little job. We'll probably save that for tomorrow, but since it's still light outside, I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So yeah, as luck would have it, <clears throat> this setup here is, uh, it's kind of a, it's a different setup, you know, and it's aluminum trailer. This one here's got leaf springs on it. So what we're, I think we're gonna be able to just flip these brackets around and, and drill some holes in the frame and uh, bolt this axle up. Should bolt right up. It's gonna take a couple little modifications, but pretty sure we'll get it. It's just a little bit different setup than this trailer here. Looks like a heavier duty axle maybe too though. So we topped our night off at the warming hut at the boys here. Got some really good food. That is bomb right there. I'm loving that. So we'll see you guys on the next one.